This is the last tutorial. It's crescendo. It's been a while since I've done a quest in solo tutorial. And I'm glad that we are going to finish the series off today. Um, a few tips and pointers on this quest. The hardest, there's two hardest levels in my opinion, which is the carriage level and the inverted ballroom. The inverted ballroom, you, you need to make sure you have a ranged weapon and the carriage Press level. Press the start button on the scoreboard <coughs> to play. And the carriage level, you need to basically kill everything before it gets in the carriage. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Um, now, there's only one weapon that has infinite uses, and it says whip. Um, everything else doesn't has a limit, and then it will eventually break. So, let's get started. If you find this video to be helpful, um, like the video, because liking the video makes me appear up on many more people's recommended. And if you want to, if you think I'm epic or cool, hit the subscribe button. It's just down below. So let's get started. Now. That should be good. Press the start button on let's the scoreboard start. to play. If you can do this quest on teleport, I'll be super happy and impressed. Because this presses, this on. quest is very hard to do on teleport because of the gunners. They're just like so annoying, and walking's like the best option. So you get four pumpkin spices. If you hit them in the head, it will instantly kill them. And then once you take these out, you'll get two more, and then another two. Let me turn my audio down a bit. There we go. Get two fresh shovels. And then you'll get two fire bats there. What I do is I strafe and then hit them. You'll also get that maid there, so always strafe. If you can hear it through the building, then that's epic. Once you take her out, you're going to get two more fire bats up here, and a maid. You can block the attacks if you do that, and take her out like so. Then you're going to get four spices over here. And then two more. And then three spices over there, and a maid on that platform. Always straight. Always watch out for them bones. Now we have our whips. Open these chests. Oh my lord. So much. How come when I do the solo, I get nothing good? But as soon as I start recording, I get like... Heaps, tons of loot. What is this? We have an extra shotgun at least. Okay, come out. And then you're gonna get through the bats. Um, and then once you enter the area, you're gonna get heaps of three pumpkin spices. You're kind of safe if you're here, they can't really get you. But once you take this guy out, you're going to get a maid up there and three spices like around there. So, try and stay out of the range of that bone thrower and take out these guys. And then strafe as always. And once you take her out, we're gonna get three more pumpkin and spices and a maid. I kill, I try and kill the maid before it spawns. Like so, like that. 
And then once we kill them, we're gonna get three fireball bats. Try and stun them before they do their attack. Because if you can, then they'll be epic. Now on to the carriage level. Make sure you listen up for this bit because this bit's like the, one of the hardest. The shotguns and the blunt knock I got are going to help massively. So you can just chuck all these guns in the middle. Maybe hold an extra one in your hand. And then starting off, you'll get two barrel dogs. They have like five seconds gap in between them. So try and take one out before the other spawns. And then another five seconds later, we're going to get some pumpkin spices. Like so. And then you're going to get three fireball bats, either spawning on that side or on that side. And then once you kill two, we're going to get another fireball bat and two spices. And then, now you're going to get two swooper bats. This is where the flint knock is going to come in handy. Because you're going to get two more. Like so. And then you're going to get two fiber bats. And you're going to get spawns basically everywhere. Just look both ways, always, and you're done. Just make sure you always look at both ways. Your main priority are the bats, because if they get in there, you're gonna have a tight, you're gonna have a tight spot. All right, starting off, you'll get this gunner. Take him out and hope to one shot him. Take this one out. Like so. And then you'll get these two pumpkin spices. So, once you walk up, you'll get two gunners. The thing about the gunners is that they do not hit your head like all the other enemies do. They hit your torso, so if you try and duck down, the, the bullet will hit your head instead. And, don't know if you know or not, but there was a gun up there, and it just went out the map. And also, you can one-hit these guys if you land a full powered whip on them. And then you'll get some battle dogs. I'm gonna just use up this crossbow because no one likes this crossbow. Who who uses this crossbow? And then once you take them out, you're gonna get two pumpkin spices. Walking up, you'll get a two gunners. So what I like to do is I just like to take these sword up here and take these out. And then you'll get another one. And hope you're not bad at aim. Run out ammo. Right. Now you have to walk up a bit more. Here's where this front knock comes on handy. So you need to take out this guy. Oh my lord. And that one. We're also gonna get barrel dogs. So, kill them like that. Alright. Walking up, you're gonna get two snipers and two punk spices. 
um, they will work their way towards you. I prioritize them snipers because they're the only ones that I can really get you from a distance. And once you take this guy out, you're gonna get a bunch of spawns up here. So, just get your gun ready. Just kill them all. And then once you take this guy out, you're gonna get a gunner up here to so take that one out. And like a bunch of stuff here. But don't let that barrel dog charge. Here's why you need to keep two shotguns. Because once you take this down, you're gonna get a bunch of enemies. Just do that. And then you'll take most of them out. Like so. And I've dropped my thing. There's an extra gun up here if you need it. Now let's go. You'll get your first checkpoint. This is where. Your checkpoints are gonna be loot up. Just find loot. There's like quite a lot of chests in here. This is where you're gonna want to start, like <laughs> keeping flint knocks and ranged weapons. Because if you do not have enough ranged weapons for the inverted ballroom, you're gonna have a problem in there. Two chests. Like we never get that. Spices to take them all out, and then you'll get some bats to take them out as well. I have quite a few guns so I can just use them all. What I would normally do for this bit is just jump down and get that sniper, but the safest thing to do is just anger it and walk back. That guy, that bat normally gets stuck, I do not know why. And then once you kill the pumpkin spices, you'll get a sniper and another pumpkin spicer and a swooper bat. Just hope they didn't all get stuck. Oh, but we're gonna have to move up. Okay, that one didn't get stuck, but that one normally gets stuck for some reason. I do not know why. But we have like a ton of shotties we can use. And then you'll get the last gunner down here. There's also food chests over here. Open them if we can. Now walk it in. You will get a bone thrower and four pumpkin spices. I just kill them bone for first and like stun some of these guys. Because once you kill these guys, you're going to get a lot of spawns. They can either spawn in that area or here, so just stand back. See what I see. And then after a bit, you'll also get two bone foes. So as you see, there's a lot on your hand. Pick these out. Now you're on to the main boss. Flint knock. Oh my gosh. Alright, this is gonna be super useful for the boss. What I do is I just throw my gun there. Spawn her in and run to the chandelier. I got this tip from both fire, so credit to him. run now I found out if you go to that side of the chandelier the maid will start working its way up and you do not want that so just always go on this side of the chandelier just try not to move 
try not to hold on to that. The head is the main priority. Like that, try not to holster. Try and kill her before the enemies come over. But they're mostly super bats. Like so. Way over. And then after this should be done. Nope, got more. After this bit should be done. And then you'll get a chest in the coffin. See what you get. Just shovels. Nice. Alright, this bit. I do is open this. Just take a hot shot. And then come up here. Are they still stuck? Come on, Rick Room. You managed to fix the drag hurdle, but you couldn't fix the AI. Come on, game. The five or bats are really the only ones can, that can get you up here. So just get those. And then once you kill most of this wave, you're going to get two snipers up here. So this is why you have the shotgun. Take them out like so. And then just take out the ones that are stupid and stuck on the bookshelf. If you have an extra shot on your shot shotty, just like that. And I don't know how that alive. Um, yeah. break this down, let's go to the next part of the level. There's a secret right here, if you did not know, you have three chests, three chances to get a good weapon. If I don't get a better range weapon, I'm gonna probably keep that. Sometimes you can get a chest here, and be careful, this can kill you. Don't get killed by that. Alright. Another secret if you get this. I'm gonna go back for a book. And then once you kill one of these guys, you get some more, including some bats. So I like to kill the two very quickly. In here, you'll get three more chests. And a flint knock. If you're lucky. Flint knocks are like the key to success. Throw the gun down there. Open this. And run back. Most of the spots I'm gonna be are also mentioned by the fire. So, if you want a deeper details of the spots, then watch Fire's version. He has like two of them. He has like an updated one and an old one. All right. You're also gonna get spawns there. So do not stand there. And you're going to get some spawns up there, if you can hit them, then you can, I nearly just got jump scared by that barrel dog, 
And then you'll also get more once you kill that wave. If it's if you're getting overwhelmed, stand back. I'm getting a bit overwhelmed here. Alright, the rest of them should now be up here. Just put yourself against this wall and yourself safe. Alright. Chest. Chest up here. Add a scarf on here and just take out what spawns over there. The pumpkin spices can't get you, so do not worry about them. What you're more worried about? Just getting overrun like that. You're also going to get that, so. Take out that gunner and get ready. All right, just whip him, and then when he's about to shoot, hide behind. This is the safest way. Try not to get up on the platform as he's there, because if you go up on the raised platform, you're going to spawn more enemies, so just take him out first, and then take out the enemies. Oh my god, that was, he had a good angle there. Oh my god, he has good angles right now. Alright. So, have two shotties, use them. And then take them out, like so. Easy as pie. Grab the shotty and loot up once again. If you have no weapons, just loot up. That's like the best thing you can possibly do. Hope to get another flint knock. Because one flint knock won't help much if you're a bad aimer like me. We are heading into the garden. This is why I'm going to probably have to turn my graphics down. Because the garden lags me heavenly. I think that's all of them. Sometimes there's a chest by the Dracula area. Let's check. Nope. Alright. Let's make our way. Alright. Garden. The lag. Just save them shotguns when you need them gonna get three of these guys and two just down there so what I like to do is strafe and one tap them all right that's where these guns come in handy Pick them, get that guy out Just 
take that gun, bring it over here. You're going to get a bone flow over there, so do try not to let it notice you. And then you're going to get some sweepers as well. And then you're going to get more. You're also going to get a sniper over here, so just take him out. And you're also getting the bone fire, so... You're going to get a lot on your hand now. Including another sniper. Now all you have left is the gunners and the bone fire. So just strafe. Take out the gunner first, because it's your main priority. Alright, if you did not know, there's a thing. If you high five, a skeleton will pop out. It's good if you want extra points. I think if it gets points. No, it does not get points. But it's just a little Easter egg. Oh my god, three shotties unloaded. I need to use the shotties now. Alright. Let's walk up. Three shotties. We are heavily loaded. Nine times out of ten, you'll get a chest here. Open it. Hope you get good weapons. And if not, then that's okay. Alright, and now, get ready. Get overwhelmed, just go back. It's the best thing you can do. Just let everything funnel towards you because you have this whip and it's very helpful. Now you just have a sniper. Strafe. And kill. Alright. On to the mini boss of this area. Once you walk up, you'll get some skeletons that will spawn there. So just walk up and you've started the timer for the boss. It's like a 10 second timer. Just kill all the enemies you can. Just try and stay like at least a couple of meters away from him because he he's like on um, he's like a mate he's like a melee boss so just as long as you just stay far from him try not to get stuck on anything and try and kill him before he gets too far He also gives quite a lot of silver, like at least, he used to give like 200, I mean, he used to give 400, now he only gives 200, at least that's what I think anyway. And then now it's just a process of taking out the enemies, which there'll be a lot of, so... Especially a lot of... Pumpkin spices, which is a, like an easy enemy. All right.
Give me gun. Oh, we only have one flint not to use. I can't in a pickle. Hope we get a flint lock in this one. I bet there's like not many chests. So, what you do? Spawn them. Run back. Because you're going to get a spawn here once you kill most of the wave. Just wait for the bone fur to make its way. does like to all right let's get ready make sure nothing spawns in late like that and then you're gonna get another bone for all right for this bit just go behind the wall as always that's like the best thing you can do in these situations. Oh my god, I cannot hit him. Just bone fell. Right. You'll get some... Gunners. As well as some spices. one back because we want to get some doggos and a, ba a bone flower and yeah you don't want to be sandwiched all right just hope this chest gives a flint knock or i got blessed Alright, the best thing you can possibly do in this situation is to stay back. Also, kind of the fire's choice, not choice, idea. Just try not to get killed by the gunners. Alright, here's where you need to make sure you hit them shots. Take her out, because that's really your main priority. Alright. manage to kill everything just go on the chandelier and just take them as they're spawning this saves a lot of ammo we have like a lot of chests as well and I think that is the last spawn if I buy you yep it is we are getting ready for the ball. So just get back. We got literally every single spawn here except for one. Because this, the, try and kill the boss as quickly as possible before it spawns every single enemy. Because if it spawns every single enemy, you're going to be overrun. So take her out. See that gunner up there. And we kill that pretty quick. I 
Ne sorun. Hard to get over one like that. And then you're done. That's the hard level. Just make sure you conserve ammo and try and hit all the shots. Because if you don't, you're in a bit of trouble. And I nearly got killed by that jug, and it would have been game over. And this is the section that gives the most amount of silver. Again, no weapons, loot up. Also, if you didn't notice, the mood has changed. It's now like a sunset, which I like. It's a nice mood. On to the lower sanctum. Right. There was a skip to basically skip all of this, but I'm not going to do it. This is all glitchless. So let's go. If you go in here, there's like a little secret. Right, on our way down. These arrows, they're the only trap in this game. They're the only trap that can kill you in this part. So try not to get killed by these arrows, because if you get killed by these arrows, you're going to be sad. Just time. Just get the timing. And we're gonna go through this. Uh, this boss is probably the easiest boss in the game. That also gives the most amount of silver. So go work your way through the axes. They won't kill you. Neither does the lasers. It'll just respawn you. So do not worry. Right. Here's when you're gonna get your first set of enemies. Exciting. Alright. It's gonna be fun. Let's let them all pile up. So, I don't want to kill most of them. We need to have some packs as well. And then once you kill them, you also get some spices. Alright, working your way down, you'll get some spawn. If you want, you can just coward out and wait and get them killed by the arrows, the axes I mean. But if you have a range drop and you can use it. But I'm just gonna let them die by themselves, just stand back, and then as they're trying to work their way up, they could get killed by axes. There goes one of them, if you just heard. And there goes the other. On to the last mini boss. Two. Oh my god. I might save the shotty now. You can only do a straight line charge. Always strafe. shotty no I cannot I think I've lost it but that's at the easiest level so far now we're on to the Dracula boss <sighs> the moment you've all been waiting for guys Dracula boss loot up because this is about to be a big fight you're gonna witness Alright. 
On your way through, they finally fix the chapter lawn. So happy. You'll get two chests over here. We are loaded. So let's go. Throw some guns up there. If you can. Welcome. If you have a good hand. It looks like we're the last ones I'm here. Sure waste more time. I was beginning to okay. think you wouldn't make it with all those detours. I don't have time to open them chest <laughs> over there. This mirror is your go-to mirror. But if he can spawn on you at most times. But he does give you a second to get out of the way. Why bro? You're in the worst place. Come on, bro. Want to kill them? Take the maid out, the bone fur, whatever you like to call it. And then you're also going to get two skeleton guys. I'm not going to risk. Try not to kill the bats, because they will. Alright, now you have to find out which one is the real one. Do not kill the fake ones because they're gonna spawn in more enemies. It's definitely not that one in the back. Maybe that one? No, it's this one. It's the one that does not wanna move. As you see, he can spawn on you. And he does give you time to get away. Alright. Take him out and take him out. And miss. Do not want to miss. Alright. Take out the bower dogs. Now find the real one. I think it's that one. Not oh, this one. Nope, it's not. Nope, it's not that one either. I found it. Right. I've lost them again. One of them three, and I do not want to hit. What a scam. Bro, what is that? Bro, this game is annoying. Are you kidding me? Finally, 
stupid bat. <sighs> Yay, we did it. And to prove that there was no checkpoints used, this was all uncut, no editing. S plus. Alright, that concludes the solo tutorial series. If you want to see more solo tutorials, maybe on different Rec Ready from Originals. Oh my god, it's glitched. Wait. I don't want to. Okay. So, if you like the video, comment down below what I should do next. Um, next up, it's doing all five quests solo. Now it's gonna be fun, and stick around, tune or tune in for that. Um, apart from that, that concludes it. Good luck. On your solo tutorial, on your solo, on Crescendo, and all the other quests that I have done a solo Press tutorial the for. And play. I'll see you later.